I look too clean. This guy... Hey! Shaved me too close. That's not a fan of feet eating pizza. And uh, rice balls. Japanese. Oh, the camera's over there. I always forget the camera's up there. Can we start this again? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, we just decided to do a rant video and just like random stuff. John decided know. to do a rant video. And I, I decided here. it. And Andy was here. Um, I'm trying not to talk with my mouth full. Alright, so I'll talk with my mouth full and wait for you to finish. Okay. So, um, not ranty. We're just talking about things that's going on in our life. I just, um, I don't know if anyone's a fan of, uh, Jim Butcher out there, but, uh, Cold Days just came out. Fucking awesome so far. I've read, like, a third of that thing already. What's it about? Mm. It's, um, it's basically like a noir detective story, like, series. Except the detective's a wizard. It's really good. It's, like, it's got, like, what is this, the 14th book? It's really mm. awesome. And right now, for anyone that, like, doesn't know or maybe doesn't know the plot of this book and you know, like, the series itself, um, Harry is working as the Winter Knight, which is basically, Harry like... Harry Potter? No, his name is Harry Dresden. No. But, um, he's working as the Winter Knight for the Winter, uh, fairies, which is basically, like, because they can't kill mortals, so basically the Winter Knight is basically, like, the fairy hitman. Uh. And, um, problem is... Is as, uh, because, like, fairies aren't, like, like, Tinkerbells in this universe. They're, like, really fucked up things that kill people for no reason because they think it's sexy. And, um, and it's really good so far. And he's starting to kill, he's starting to, like, be mean to the people he likes, and it's very, very sad. You took another fucking bite! The whole point of me talking about this was that you wouldn't have you, your mouth full. You were going, I thought you had more to say. No! No! I'm a third through the book, and I don't want to spoil anything. Uh -huh. Keep reading it. If you are reading it. If you're not reading it, read it. It's great. There. I'm fucking done. Now finish fucking... So, um, I started reading Hungry Joker. Don't enjoy it so far. I'm only 18 pages into That's the, the thing, like, the first chapter, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know about this one. And then I got to, like, I read, I read the first chapter, and I read this half of the second chapter and stopped reading it. Then I got... Then the third chapter came out, and I finished the second chapter and read the third chapter. Explain the plant premise to me. All right. Without spoiling it, as if I am a five-year-old man. So, there's a good guy. Okay. And there's a bad... No, um... Is there a bad guy? Yeah, there's... There's, like, the antagonist so far, as we know. Okay. Um... I actually it's don't terrible. know any of their names. I'm sorry, I'm kind of bad at... Because <laughs> rice balls I fucking atrocious. Up. Why would you throw up? I went to laugh and then I like burped. No, you just fucking laugh. Like no, that's not... I, I why laughed. is vomit your first like... <laughs> it wasn't... Oh man, that could have been, that could have been internet gold. <laughs> um, Post that on Reddit. Uh, is it really that bad? It's got like meat and peas in it. I don't know why you got that. It sounded <laughs> good. It's like fried rice ball. Yeah, I'm in. And that's got like cheese and shit in it. Like I just wanted the rice ball. <laughs> And I feel like it's like it's like supposed to be like oh surprise there's stuff in it, but it's like all these things I didn't want. Like I don't know what it is. It's not ground beef, <laughs> and it might be chicken. But I'm not sure because it's brown. Oh, no, God. And I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> I'm scared to taste it. It doesn't taste like anything, which is even more concerning. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Italian food I'm really bad with the names. I really didn't even pay attention to the character's name. I love how he looks. I love the art style. It reminds me of uh, D. Gray Man, like and Bleach. He did remind me a little of Hats uh, Hatsugaya or Hats Hatsuki, whatever the guy's the captain's name is. Oh in Bleach. yeah, yeah. Um, well, you need to learn how to eat. Um, it's really loose. That's what she said. He said. She could say it too, I guess. We're progressive here in Naruto Fan FB. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Anyway, um, the whole thing is he, uh, he's a scientist. There was or a doctor. He gets called in for some like crazy murder that went on. He brings the body back to his lab, and all of a sudden it comes to life. And with the body, there was an app. Uh, he has. He's actually had this apple with him his whole life. And this. What's his apple? Um, 
you find out the apple is called a Eureka. And what it looks like is going to happen throughout the show is different scientific things are going to be like Eurekas in this. Like, is this universe. like Assassin's Creed apple would be in like these? Yeah, but kind of yeah, kind of like that. But the he has the apple, and if you know anything about Isaac Newton, the apple. Um, fruit, fell from fruit, the fruit, tree fruit. on his head, and that's he discovers gravity. Um, the apple gives him the power of gravity, and in the first chapter, they, they explain that um, Isaac Newton didn't discover gravity because the apple fell on him. Isaac Newton uh, like learned to control gravity because he took a uh, bite from the apple. Uh, huh. And what it looks like, which I think is really cool, is that only geniuses are allowed to actually use these Eurekas. Are capable or allowed? Capable. Capable. Okay. Capable. Of using these. Uh, like, if a, a normal person took a bite of the apple, they apple. would die. No, they would die. Oh, they would die. Yeah. That's very, uh, is that why the guy's, like, glowing? No, well, the guy was glowing because uh, there's the antagonist so far. Mm -hmm. uh, she has these beans. Uh, 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 well, not beans. Like peas. magic beans? No, peas. Peas, I'm sorry. Peas. And if you know anything about Darwin, Darwin did the whole, uh, like, genetics and everything with the peas, you know, like... You I know. mean, Punnett squares? Like, well, like, like the, the... Yeah, kind of like that. That's Punnett squares. That's guy named no, Punnett. But, no, no, but it's with the genetics, how he... You don't remember the, the pea experiment that he did with the different species of peas and... I know the one with flowers. Whatever. Anyway, it has to do with Darwin. And because... I don't know. Um, because... It's uh, the peas and genetics. Mm -hmm. This person is able to um, make humans turn into like these crazy fucking like demon beast things. They like survival the fittest kind of stuff. No, they just it's evolution. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So they he can kind of control or he yeah she he, I, I didn't really it. pay attention. It can control, and for some it seemed like the antagonist was claiming itself to be a god because the third chapter is called Genius vs God, so. They're obviously on another level, and I guess that's what uh, the protagonist is aspiring to become right now. I'm interested in it. I'm going to keep reading it. Uh, hopefully, this will be the next big uh, manga that comes out. Cause, um, it's showing? Or... Yeah. Okay. A lot of... Because there's a lot of mangas that are ending around now. Bleach is on its way out. Naruto's got a year and a half. Maybe. One Piece will go on forever. Yeah, One Piece is never going to end. But uh, Hitman Reborn's got two more novels, and they're done December 4th really? and March, and that's I haven't even read that. Yeah. That's another one to read. I've said that plenty of times. Um, oh, did you know about Fairy Tale? Where's Fairy Tale? Oh, I, I don't know. Fairy Tale looks like it's getting close, too, like, with the whole, like, last dragon. Uh, I mean, they found out what happened to the dragon. I could see another, like, four, like 300 chapters of that. Easy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, Fairy Tale. There's also History's Strongest Disciple, uh, Kenichi. That was a good show. I can refer to it as shows when... Manga. Yeah. Um, okay. So, that's the manga we're reading. And the books we're reading. And the pizza we're eating. I'm not eating pizza. I was eating pizza. There's pizza. I'm sorry. I was awful of me. I interrupted you. Um, games we're playing? Um, Halo. I'm playing a lot of Halo. Halo. So. A lot. That game's great. I'm gonna play that for a long time. What what other big games are coming out? The Wii U just launched. Yeah. What's that like? Is it good? Wow, well, it's easy to sell actually. Yeah. Just sells itself. This is gonna this bring is me the on second to, Wii. This is gonna bring me on another point. Uh, uh, I work at GameStop, so that's the whole like I. It's easy to sell. Um, but the, yeah, the Wii U is pretty cool. Um. Uh. I gotta pick up Hitman. Oh, Absolution came out. Yeah. I didn't really like the demo. I'm just—it's not my kind the of sniper challenge. That's not what the game's about. Though. Oh, I know that. I know, but it's not really like my thing. It's too like, like there's too many paths you can fuck up too easily. It's the same. I have the same problem with Dishonored. I want to do everything perfectly. Oh, but that's a th good thing about Hitman and and Dishonored too, because you can do it whatever way you want. You can go in and fuck everyone up, or if you, or I don't if you want to wanna... fuck anyone up. Okay, then you can have to find the right path. It's just that's, really hard. That's your choice, and don't complain. I'm not complaining. I am complaining. I'm the guy that, like, sneaks around for the first five minutes until, like, someone sees me, and I'm like, fuck it, all out, ballers out, popping niggas' heads off. Oh, I can say that. I'm black. <laughs> um, I'm offended. You should be. For the two this years. is cheese in it, too. 
Don't eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I paid for it. Oh, by the way, Powerball. Yeah. Four hundred fifty million dollars, guys. Five hundred million. Five hundred million. Don't buy tickets. We already bought tickets. Don't buy tickets. We bought tickets for you, so it's yeah. Fine. Oh, if if we win the New York State Powerball, I promise that I will buy. 100 copies of Naruto Ninja Storm and mail them out. Fuck that. Everyone that's a fan of our page gets a copy. That's if I win. If he wins, he can send it to whatever the fuck he wants. But if I win... First of all, I'm not telling anyone if I win. Second of all, I will send every copy to every year. Yeah. So if... Yeah. If we win, people are getting copies of Naruto Ninja Storm 3. So if you win, you should really give us the money. Is what <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, give us the money. We'll do great things. We'll be great people. We'll make Naruto land. <laughs> yeah, that's we'll not, buy that's the not right. an IP nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy the rights to Naruto. And Mickey Mouse. And they'll fight. Imagine a Super Smash Brothers in a Disney World setting with Naruto in it. That could happen You'd if play you it. give us the money. You'd play it. Don't lie to me. You would. I'd play it. I'd play it. Fuck it. Why not? What would Mickey's like ultimate be? It would just be like this like Jewish... Artist <laughs> that would just like erase you out of existence. I feel like it would probably be a, like a reasonable one, even though that's kind of funny. Uh, I think it'd be like he'd get like a pencil and just be able to erase you. Fuck that. Well, it'd be like an Epi Mickey thing where he gets like a paintbrush. Yeah, that's bullshit. It should be something like satirically and socially like accurate, where he buys the rights to all of you and then like how just sells people, you. How many people actually know anything about? IP law? No, about Disney? Mickey, Disney or Mickey when it comes to like the social standings and their business practices. That's a good point. Exactly. Like you'd be like Disney's evil. Now like, three thousand people know about like, it. This this special makes no sense at all. I don't know what that document is. The, the, buy well, we own Disney World. We could also put Star Wars characters in it. Yeah, but do you know how much money that? And would? and Buzz Lightyear. You know how badass Buzz Lightyear would be in a fighting game. He'd be pretty He's bad. got lasers and a helmet. Yeah. Okay. Um. Ew. Oh, so, alright, I haven't really, like, said this on the interwebs, but I'm not really a big fan of for Neverworld, and it's not on, like, oh, he reviews Internet chapter, beat. I review Boom. chapters, like, it's not even on that shit, um, I just, I don't agree with a lot of the things he says, and we try to, like, we put our opinions in a lot of the things that we say, but we try to back them up with solid facts, and we try to incorporate what the fans say and make it into a solid hypothesis. Science. So like, yeah. We do science. We here. do science here at Naruto Fan FB. And I feel like he just says like, oh my god, this chapter was awesome and here's my opinion. Or like, he's very biased. It's, and it's because he's only one reviewer, so it's a little bit harder to not be biased. Well, then you can't be mad when he doesn't have friends to do reviews with him. <laughs> I mean, it's not his fault. Um, but it just irks me. Like that video where he said who would win uh, in a fight, Whitebeard or Madara, Edo Tensai Madara, and I was like... I don't know who Whitebeard is, but Madara would win. Whitebeard, the ca uh, pirate captain from... Yeah, I don't read One, one, one piece. piece. Yeah, well... Is he, like, super short? Is he a god? No. <laughs> well, then no. <laughs> he's That's he's, not an argument. No, he's really strong. It's like saying, strong. who would win, a tiger or a puppy? Yeah, like, I mean, he, he can't... He's really strong in this show, and he had valid points of why, like, Whitebeard, Whitebeard could, could possibly win. Like, he has, like, this staff. He could cut oceans in half up, supposedly. He's, like... Okay, well... There's a lot of stuff to get into. And he is he, a very... He's cut water in half in a mountain. He's he's very, very strong. But... Madara is literally on god level. And this isn't even, like... I, I like Madara, and I like Naruto more than I like One Piece, but comparing the two, Whitebeard was still a human. And Madara is... A zombie. A zombie with unlimited chakra... Perfect sauce knew he could look at Whitebeard in the eyes and make him do something. He'd like, make him kill himself. He'd make like he wouldn't he, he wouldn't break a sweat. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. So wait, on the it. problem is that is it is it the specific question or is it that the guy like does this? Like what does he do? I don't know him. Like, he, I'll show you after. But like a lot yeah. of the times, like he'll say, like, I guarantee you, you're gonna watch some of the videos and be like, that's not true at all. No, I don't agree with you at all. No, that makes no sense. But um, I watched his. Uh, video on um, GameStop, and he no fucking hates Gam GameStop and all that stuff. And I am an employee, 
at GameStop. But um, you do not represent their, them as a company. Yeah, I definitely segment. don't. So you don't want to get fired. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Yeah, I definitely Ooh. do not represent any of GameStop's beliefs or anything. I work for in a company this. too, and that's not all. Yeah, you talk about the shirt. Yeah. Um, but he was saying all this stuff about how he hates GameStop and he had this terrible experience. I don't know what happened in the past with GameStop, but I heard about his Wii U experience. And it's very unfortunate for you that that happened. But here's two things. One, if you wanted the Wii U that badly, you should have went when you could have possibly actually pre-ordered it. That way you wouldn't have to worry about getting on the wait list and picking up your copy. Because the wait list and reserving the games are two completely different things. And I will apologize on behalf of the whoever helped you out. Because if you got an email saying that your copy was in and that you could pick it up, and then you go in and the guy's like, you didn't get an email... That was the complete wrong way to handle the situation. But as so, an individual, that's not the company. Yeah, as an individual. Obviously, that's in the company. But Fuck. chances are, the reason he said that is because your copy of the Wii U that was that you got emailed for was sold because GameStop has a tendency to just tell... And it's not the store managers, not usually the district managers. It's usually the corporate because all they really seem to care about is sales. But... They probably send out an email like, hey, sell through. Call up all the people on the wait list. If they don't answer, sell to walk-ins because they want numbers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They're not They're not looking to, just, you know. Like, because then no one never make money. I mean, remember that one game that came out that, like, everyone pre-ordered but no one bought? Yeah. Oh, uh, what was it? I don't know. That game you've never heard of because it wasn't popular. <laughs> um... Oh, Kingdom. Kingdom of, Am- Kingdom of Amalur was like that. They had a lot of pre-orders, but then it never went anywhere. Yeah. Never mind. I'm no, wrong. No, 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 no. But, um... Oh, I feel sick. <laughs> uh, but what I was oh getting to... <laughs> <laughs> Andy just... Andy just left. Uh, what I'm getting to <laughs> is... At one point, he was saying, I hope that Am- Amazon... <laughs> And um, Walmart uh, put GameStop out of business. And when you say that, that means that, first off, you're not really angry at the people that work at the GameStop because they get, have no say in what really goes on. They just hear from someone above them to do this, and that's the end of it. There's no arguments. There's no, why can't we try this? You kind of just do it because it's your job and someone's telling you to do it. Um but when you say something like, I hope they get out of business, that's saying that you hope that the hundreds of thousands of GameStop employees that work at the stores in all these <coughs> locations don't have jobs anymore. That's including me. And I'm not going to take personal offense because obviously you didn't mean it like that. But if you need to be angry at someone, you need to be angry at corporate. You need and to yourself. Forever guy. You should have reserved it. You need to... Is that, is that if you really feel that strongly about what happened, you need to... Send an email to GameStop's corporate. They have at the bottom of the receipt. Like tell GameStop.com. Like don't really. If you want to call out the guy that helped you, do it. But like, you need to say like, listen, it's not right that you emailed me and this happened. GameStop will get back to you. But like, when someone in HR will get back to you. I promise. Yeah, but when you say something like everyone should lose, like GameStop should go out of business, because I'm not saying that GameStop is an amazing company or like the best com- game company in the world. They are like the kingpin right now just because they have they know how to run a business, I guess. Somewhat. Yeah. Uh, they may not treat the customers right all the time. They may not treat the employees right all the time. But they definitely know how to run their business. And Because there's the thing. The reason why you didn't get a Wii U is because someone else bought it. It yeah. means that it means what they want is happening. Yeah, People they don't, are buying their products. They don't really care that, <coughs> that you didn't get a Wii U. They care that they sold the Wii U. And at my GameStop that I work at, I bust my ass to make sure that I can help the customer whatever way possible. Like, I'll watch them do it. It's pretty awesome. Like, if we don't have something, I'm going to make sure that you get it from somewhere else or we get it to you somehow or I'll <laughs> get it from another sort of my store. Like, it doesn't matter. I'll make sure you get it. So, all you people out there that are hating on GameStop employees and the GameStop stores, because that's what comes off as, not as GameStop as a corporation. If you want to hate on GameStop as a corporation, do your thing. But the people that work at the stores, it's not their call. It's They don't want this. They're normal gamers that love video games that are really just trying to help you out and do their job. So, 
be easy on us. We have feelings still behind our hardened exteriors. I always pick like game shop employees, like people that work at Disney World, because on the outside it looks like this great, awesome time. Yeah. Because yeah. you're always like everyone's really peppy and everyone's really excited to be there, and they're like, "Oh, I love video games." Yeah. Blah blah blah. Behind the scenes, that shit's fucking nuts. <laughs> yeah. Try working at a GameStop. It is not puppies, rainbows, and sunshines. I used to work with John, like one year. I almost got punched out on Christmas. I almost didn't make it. I didn't make it. Didn't make it. It's a hard, it's a cold world, baby girl. Loving me is not enough. It's a 50 cent line. Oh, I don't listen to hip hop. Yeah. Uh, What else is there to talk to? But yeah, if... I hope never, uh, never for Never World gets back at us. I don't think he will. Not but, in a uh, mean way. Not like I'd love to have a discussion <clears throat> with this man. I want to know what he's about. And if obviously if he disagrees with anything, <clears throat> God, if he disagrees with I, anything that I'm saying, like just refute me, just like refute me, dispute yeah, me, dispute, refute. Don't abuse me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I could be an hip hop rapper. No, is that the same thing. Hip hop and rap. Uh, what else is now? It'd be an age. That's Justin Bieber. So chapter should be coming out what tomorrow, this Wednesday. Is, yeah, Wednesday. Maybe a little bit later tonight until Hopefully, Wednesday. That'd be nice. I always love early chapters. So yeah. I was like, I'm like, I'm always like, ah, oh, my Wednesday's already booked. I can't do things. I always love it when it comes out on Tuesday because it's like I have Wednesday. I can do. I things. like when it comes out on Tuesday because I work Wednesday morning. So like whatever I work, I have like I don't get a chance to read in the morning and I have to read on my phone. That sucks. Yeah. It sucks it's to tough. be you. It's hard. Yeah, it is. It's hard being black. It's really hard. It's. It's really hard. Oh, uh, back to Naruto. Though. Ninja Storm 3 is coming out in a little bit, and there's been a lot more updates as of late. Um, I, I'm totally in the dark on it. Really? Yeah. That's I know you can. I know Naruto can dress as Goku. Yeah. That's one of the pre-order bonuses, so go out and get your copy pre-ordered and pick it up on day one so you can dress up as Goku. You don't get put on the waiting list. <laughs> um, uh, I think that's a kind of cool addition. I think that it's... Cool, like they customize. Are they doing ring outs? Is that like a thing? Or yeah. How's uh, that work? Because there's like all that knockback in that game. Yeah, that's yo. Like any character that uses Rasengan like or Chidori. Oh my god, it's gonna be. You can like use a support character to catch you back in, but I can see ring outs being a huge problem if they're not balanced right. Is it like as soon as you get knocked out, you're, you will lose, no, or is well, it like you have to be outside for a certain amount of time? Or? No, like it looks like. Because if, like, if it's like damage. wrestling, where it's like you have to be outside the ring no, for 10 no, no, seconds, no, no, then you lose. No, no. It's like stage damage first. Like, you you knock out the rail first. You get hit into the rail, so the rail goes out. Then you're fighting, and then, say, you knock them back, and there's no rail there anymore. You would, like, fly off the stage, and it's kind of like... And you would not walk It's kind of like in. Team Rocket shit. Oh, where they get blasted off into space? Yeah, it's kind of like that. You see, like, you disappear into the distance. But if there's a support character to help you, the support character will, like, grab you and throw you back on. It's like Super Smash Brothers, then. Like, when you hit the hammer, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually picked up a copy of Super Smash. Oh. I meant to grab the Wii, but I... You didn't? You have the game, but not the I, console. Uh, it's, not, it's not true, else. I'll get it. It's uh, I'm not going there. Uh, um... Yeah, so the stage damage, I'm, I think I sent this in another vi video I'm a little weary about, but, you know, we'll see how that works out. Are they announcing a new character? Yeah, they uh, announced the Gold and Silver Brothers. Okay. Silver and Gold Brothers. Will they be support only? No, I think every character is going to be an actual character. I think the only reason why they're support characters this time is, uh, well, for generations, is because they like ran out of time out of or time. whatever. Uh, but yeah, they announced um, the Silver and Gold. They've basically been announcing any character that you see in the anime. So do they fight together? Do <laughs> you pick one or the yeah, other? I, I'm pretty sure you're going to pick one or the other. That's kind of awesome. <clears throat> they probably have some like combo thing. That's something I'd like to see in there. In the um, probably like, could do a lot of interesting like support things. With yeah, that. well, that's one of the things like in the uh, PS2 games. <sighs> if you matched yourself up with certain characters, they would do all like different ultimate attacks and stuff, like specifically coordinated to mm -hmm. the fact that they like work together. Like Naruto and Sasuke had like this ultimate like Rasengan Chidori like move. And that was really cool. You're peanut butter and I'm jelly, and together we're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and Chapter will all right. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else I want to touch upon? Oh, I bought this game at GameStop. It was buy two. Is that my ass? Do you like my ass? <sighs> it's not Ashley. 
You guys, you guys really disappointed me this week with your not creepy things to say to Ashley. I, someone was like, "I like her boobs." That wasn't good enough. <laughs> it was not good enough. She doesn't, she doesn't creep down. She doesn't creep down enough. So, I bought this game. What is it? Battle Fantasia. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Battle Fantasia. That looks amazing. It was four ninety nine. Uh-huh. I'm telling you a story about this game. Started working at GameStop like four years ago. Almost. Four? Yeah, yeah. I was turning I was seventeen turning eighteen. Alright. Um <coughs> and now I need a social security number and then you can just assume his identity. <laughs> it's not funny. Maybe but it's not. probably my second year of working there, this game I saw this game on the shelf for like twenty nine ninety nine. It was like a random game that came out. Turned over and I was like, "Oh, this game looks awesome! Like, it looks like a really cool, like, fighting game thing that I could like definitely enjoy." But I was like, "It's too expensive. I'm not gonna get it." Like, I would always see it on the shelves. No one ever bought it, and I would just keep like, like, you know what? One day I'm gonna buy you. One day I'm gonna buy you. So last week they did a buy two get one free at GameStop. I picked up this uh, our uh, tactical like tactics RPG game. Uh, I picked up two human. Which, I was actually going to bring that up right after you were done. I'll bring that up right afterwards. And then I was like, you know what? This game's $5. Whatever. This will work. I picked this up. And I was like, it's about time. How bad can it be? This is probably one of the worst fighting games <laughs> that I've <laughs> ever played in my entire life. That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> I put this in for probably 10 minutes. The only reason why I even played it for 10 minutes is because I was on a winning streak. And I hadn't lost. I haven't lost yet. Well, I, I eventually I lost one round, and that was it. I will never play this game again. Maybe I'll play it to show Andy how bad it is. Um, we do a let's play of the most. We worst should. Game you know ever. what? I might. I might capture card how bad this fucking game is. I hated this thing. <laughs> if you go to your local GameStop, don't buy it. It's buy terrible. it and then break it. And buy it and break it so no one else can ever buy it. That's what you need to do. Be a good Samaritan. This game is bad, and it should be, and it should feel bad. Mm. Uh, too human. Speaking of cheap games, then um, I don't know if anyone's heard, but uh, Silicon Knights made a game in two thousand eight called Too Human, and it was like rated okay, maybe a little less than. Um, a lot of issues with the game. It was you know. I like the, the demo. I like the well, uh, demo was fun, but the problem. Well, here's the thing: the combat. Especially at the higher levels, gets brutal. Yeah, well, like we should um, play that tonight. Yeah, we could. But um, here's the thing. So, kind of right afterwards, uh, Silicon Knights was all like, "Ah, oh, man, this game. The problems with it aren't our fault. It was because Epic, who they licensed the Unreal Engine from, didn't like they were making Ge Gears of War at the time, and everyone's like, this game does not look like Gears of War at all. Like, I can't believe it's made on the same engine. And he's like, well, it's not our fault. We got an incomplete engine." And basically, they like said a bunch of shit, and they sued Epic. For um, slander? Oh wait, no, no, for 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 basically like uh, taking money that should have been used for the engine and like putting it towards Gears of War, or, like prioritizing Gears of War over, over. the project. Huh. And um, and Epic was like, "That's horseshit." I mean, we do we license this thing out all the time. Yeah. And you're the only one that's ever complained about it. It's like, well, and like I think the strategy of this lawsuit was like, well, if we make... do it, everyone else would do it. And then four years later, no one else did it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it got settled. Or, like, well, it came to its conclusion a couple weeks Epic, ago. Epic and won, Epic yeah. won big. <clears throat> like, not even by a little bit. Like, basically, over the course of these last four years, Silicon Knights has devolved into nothing. I think the company was run by five people. Um, <laughs> so, with the decisions lawsuit, they owe, they owe Epic about $13 billion. Damn. I think billion. That was not or a good million. It can't be pretty billion. Sure, Sure. It's a, well, point is, point is, they don't have thirteen anything. They probably don't have thirteen cents to rub together. But the problem is, and this is why I we picked up copies of Two Human. All the copies of Two Human and X Men Destiny, the two games they've made in oh, the last four X -Men years. X Men Destiny's also. Yeah, we have like seven. I'm about to pick up a copy of that. All mm -hmm. right, um, they're basically getting collected and then destroyed, and the code's getting deleted. This game will no longer exist the way as we know it, like at all, soon. So if you could find a copy and you want some history, pick it up. It's also, <laughs> wow! It's also a pretty cool game. I enjoy it. I put like way too much of my life into that. More more hours than I'm willing to admit. Too human, really? It was almost like it was a JRPG for me, man. Like, I don't want to oh, say shit. the amount of hours is in the triple digits. It <laughs> probably is really close. 
<laughs> well, um, that game wasn't good at all, though. I know. Oh, I have I like you. You get six character slots. I have five filled <laughs> with about max level everything. <laughs> Anything. Well, the problem is Wait, this is just the difference between me and Andy. I get tired of games after ten minutes. He can go on for months playing one game and then mention like, yeah, it really wasn't that good of a game, but I invested a uh, hundred thousand hours. Well, here's the problem, and this is the way I am with games: is that, and I had the same, and the same thing happened with the Dragon Age, but um, which was a good game, so that was awesome. But uh, I at the time I didn't have Xbox Live. I was just sitting in my dorm room. This is my freshman year. I didn't have friends. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have a girlfriend yet. So I was just yeah, I'd come home, you know, jerk it, and then play to human for like eight hours and fall asleep. I don't know if that's actually what happened. Probably not. But it's the only way I can explain it. For eight hours, yo. I don't know. Point is, no, nah, probably not eight hours. Like, like probably like two. But. Fun game if you can like get past if you can look past all of the shitty things about it it's pretty enjoyable you kind of wish they had just kind of like not I, done the lawsuit made another one made a better one I, and got honestly over it. I enjoyed the the sword play because you used the analog stick I thought that was really cool problem with, no but the problem all right <laughs> problem with the sword play, <clears throat> God what the <laughs> fuck is in my throat um not a dick <laughs> but um uh, mm-hmm. you just hold the analog stick down and just really hits so you just hold it. But if you, like, swipe it, you can do, like, different moves and shit. I remember! No, here's what... You're gonna tell me... <laughs> you're gonna tell me how this fucking game plays after how many hours I said that. I'm sorry. Alright, first... Alright, so... The hand here's what'll happen. Yes, yeah, you'll, you'll, like... You'll hit to the left, you'll hit to the right, you'll hit forward. But the point is, like, if you want to, like, combo one guy, you're just holding straight on the... Oh, stick. okay. Um, you can jump and you can combo. And if you are using ranged combat, that is a fucking yeah, nightmare. I heard that, that because was, uh, the targeting the... system is broken. It's not like <laughs> it's not like a little broken. Like if you like you know that you like point a gun in a direction and should, yeah. like hit people, but if you're not targeting somebody, the bullets won't hit. They'll go through the guy. Wow. And that's what that's one thing that it's I, awful. I was found and, to be amazing. Like if something doesn't work in a game to the point that like us as just normal gamers mm-hmm. can notice that it's completely shit. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck happened with all the testers? Because I'm sure the testers were like, hey, listen, this targeting system is a little fucked. You might need to fix this. Like, do they blatantly just, like, ignore these flaws and put it out? Because... I'm sure they weigh the decisions where it's like, it would cost this much to fix yeah. it. We have this much money. Is it worth it? No. And then they don't do it. I don't know. It's the same reason why it's like, well, we could hold the game back, make all the support characters actual characters in Naruto Generations. Or just release or it. Or release it the three. game. Make probably as much money. And not care. And that's kind of what it is. That's what happened there, too. So, like, I don't know. Point is, you should pick up Two Human because a used copy is like three bucks. I was shocked. Like, even when I returned that game. It was three bucks because I had my discount. No, yeah, I had my discount, too. It was was like two. Well, I picked up like used. for... $5.99, yeah. I picked up used for three bucks. Oh, no, yeah. It was used for $3. Um, New for $5.99. No, new for. Oh, God. Yeah, well, $2 is a lot. Well, whoever wins Powerball. Yep. You should pick up a copy of Two Human. All the copy. You should buy. what the, what Silicon the, Knights? Yeah, don't so. do that. <laughs> don't do that. Why? You'll have the money to... My garbage hey, also, My garbage can's over there, so I didn't just like go like this for no reason. I had like a little piece of paper in my hand. Camera's there. Paper in my hand. <laughs> um, yeah, pick it up. And then you can play with us. We'll play Two Human with you. We have, co- wait, like, what, four copies of Two Human now? Three. Three? Yeah, we have three copies. We have one. What happened order. to the copy you had? You traded it in? Yeah, I traded I needed to make rent one month. And, you and I was like, I'm like, well, I'm not... Well, 50 I, cents? I got like eight bucks. No, you you said you bought it for three. I traded it in years We've ago. You already went over the whole GameStop fucks you over. They definitely went out of giving you eight bucks. It was like years ago. It was like two years ago. Okay. It's been eight dollars forever, and now it's like two. <laughs> Point is, it's a good game. Ish. <sighs> so play with us. Play with us. Be our friends. Won't you be our friend? Except for a forever rule. If you have that game, you can't play with it. No, like, it's... I actually respect him a lot because he's re- reads oh. and likes a lot of manga. I just don't agree with his opinion often, and because of my nature, it irks me because, like... You're an irritable I've, son of a bitch? Yeah, I yeah. guess. I feel like it, when he... Like, the oh. shit that he says is just like, Ah, you're not right! Okay. Well, you can have an opinion. He can have his opinion. You both can disagree and, you know, yell at each other over the internet about how you're both gay. I'm challenging you to a duel. At 3 o'clock tomorrow, be there, outside the bagel store. You know which one. Is it, is it the one we always go to, that bagel store? Yeah. Don't use that one, I like that bagel store. Oh, we'll fight outside. Alright, we done here? 
Yeah, um, comment below if you want to hear us talk about something or it's 34, why like, not. 34.59. Oh, I, you have to move the camera to fucking see how it Because, like, th this shine <laughs> is right over, like, where the time code is. And I can't see it. It's like, I oh, think it's real quick before we go. Mm -hmm. Um, in regards to the whole Naruto Ninja Storm 3 thing, I actually want to do a giveaway for at least one copy of Ninja Storm on either PS3 or Xbox, depending on who wins. I don't really know how we would give it away yet, whether we do like a, Nor a Naruto tournament, like Generations tournament, or a, a fan off of a fan art thing, or a raffle. Uh, Best so, boobs. Um, then we'd have like two people. If you'd like uh, us yeah. to get, I, I'm gonna buy the copy out of my own money that I make from like the YouTube channel and whatever else I do. Don't worry about it. Um, if you would like us to give away more copies, if you want to donate even like a dollar to Uzamanga, there's a donate button. If you click it and donate one dollar, if 60 of you do it, because there's like 4,000 fans on Naruto FB, 60 of you guys do it, that's enough for me to buy another copy so we can give out more games. If one of you wins Powerball and wants to donate like a million dollars, that'd be nice too. And you have like, what, 299 other million, you don't need it. And we can start giving more uh, content. It, we we more. would quit our jobs and just do this all day. Yeah, but uh, you want to well, pay? You want to give us? I'm not talking about the million dollars. Uh, uh, just in general, with the, any donation. You don't ask big, they'll never get big, man. Yeah, but if you guys want to donate anything at all, like even one dollar, I will be forever Grateful. in your debt. Not forever. The sucky dick. But, but uh, yeah, but we we do also want to give away at least one copy. So if you want to comment below and give us your ideas of how we should give it away, we hear a good one, we'll definitely do it. And uh, you have a chance to win a copy of Naruto Ninja Storm 3 for free. For free. For free. For the price of on the house. On the house. This house. I won't tell you where it is, but this house. Someone found it. It's creepy. That, did they? That was the Adventure Time shirt. Or was that from... Oh, no. That was from Emily. Oh. My now girlfriend sent me a t-shirt before we were dating, and I didn't know who it was from because it was shipped from the, it was like from Etsy, so, which is like a site where they, people hand make things and send them out from their houses or whatever. So it was from this random house, and I didn't know who it was, who it was from, and she never told me, so I was like freaked out for like three weeks because no one ever told me where it was from. Did it just say like, "Hope this gives you a little bit of a smile" yeah, or something? Like, like something really creepy. Like it was like, like I, I want to wear your skin. I hope. <laughs> it's like I hope this puts a smile on your face, and I was just like, "Oh my god, I'm going to die." So, uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, is that it? I think we're done here. All right, check out Uzumanga.com. We'll see you guys Facebook tomorrow, page, actually. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, check out our Facebook page. Check out Uzumanga.com. Check out our YouTube channel. If you're not watching us on our YouTube channel, subscribe. Um, we'll do an, we'll do it, what, 6.11 tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I think so. Damn, this been sick. Yo, I posted the Naruto, like, the first episode of Naruto on the Naruto wall today. Yo, that was so long ago. I don't remember. I, were we still in high school? Yeah, we were in high school. Fuck. Oh, yeah, because there was that one kid that wore one of those fucking, not, not that if you guys do it, it's not cool, <laughs> but, like, he had a headband around his neck, like, kind of like Hinata. Like, if you're gonna do it, don't do it like Hinata. Yeah. But, um... You also wear a dog collar, so if you guys do that, that's weird. Don't do that. Check out our, our pages and all our stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, check out Hungry Joker. Might be the next big thing. Yeah, I'll uh, read the rest of it, and if I like it, I guess we'll do, like, a review. Of the... No, it, it was good. After Chapter 3, I was like, yo, this could go somewhere. I was, like, liking it. The is, it is it a weekly thing, or is it, like, monthly, or...? I'm, I, in the beginning of mangas, it's weird, because they thought, like, 60-page chapters, and okay. they, like... They, they try to get you in right away because mm -hmm. they like they can do weekly chapters with mm -hmm. Naruto and stuff because they already have the fan base. But like Hungry Joker, like if they do weekly, like I'm like, uh, this is lame. But mm -hmm. I think it's like one be, week, like they they need to hit hard every week. Yeah, every I think, time. Yeah, I think they're gonna start doing weekly. It's, it's in Shonen. Like, like Blue Exorcist, I guess. Like yeah, it does that way. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, all right, check this out our stuff. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for our chapter review. Peace.